Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is at work, and this is the new Civivi Button Lock Elementum in 14C 28N blade steel. This is the olive micarta. It also comes in green micarta and brown micarta, so there are other um, you know, colors or other different kinds of micarta you can get. Steel liners that are milled out to bring down the weight. Nice big T8 hardware all the way around, and we have a nice deep carry steel pocket clip with inset screws. Now, I know the big problem with this thing, and we're going to go over that in just one second. But before that, I want to thank Civivi for sending this to me and sending me other knives. I'm really, I was really excited to collab with them. They're one of my most recommended knives to anybody. Civivi, Sencut, or Wee Knives, they make incredible knives. Wee Knives make Civivi and Sencut, and they work with so many great people. They have so many great designs for every price point, whether it's budget or high end. And they just have so many amazing designs for just about anybody that it's hard not to recommend them, especially with their build quality, their fit, the finish, and just everything, man. It's just, they're such a well-made knife. So if you do not have one yet, you should, because you're missing out. They have incredible, incredible knives. Now, getting back to this one, the Elementum Button Lock, 14C28N, I'm really excited they're using that steel, and we're going to sharpen this at the end of the video. Now, the big problem with this knife, I was one of the first person, people to say it, because when I, I seen it, I was really excited, and then I found out the only way to deploy it is with the button, which, yes, in certain places, it does make it a gravity knife, which makes it illegal for some, some people. I get that. I don't really worry about that, but I can understand why some people are upset. They want, they would rather have a flipper tab or a thumb deployment. But let me explain why it's still so, so awesome because I, you know, I was really upset at first, but now I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Now, first off, if it did have a flipper tab, which yes, I would like some type of deployment because with a button, like any type of button lock, you can still take a button lock that has a flipper tab and you can still open it with the button. So why not put another kind of deployment on there so that you have multiple deployments? I get that. But if it had a flipper tab, it would get in the way right here and you wouldn't be able to get up nice and close to that blade the way you can with it gone. It has such a cool, straightforward design. I think this thing is so such a good-looking knife. I can just look at it and see the versatility in it. And we're going to go more into that here in just a second because just, it is super versatile. But it would be nice to have some sort of thumb stud or something on it so that you had a couple different kinds of deployment. But it's actually still pretty awesome even without it. And it's pretty innovative because you don't see too many designs like this. Now, it is locked when it is shut. No play whatsoever. I mean, there's absolutely no play. It is rock solid. Now, once you push the button, which does have some gripping on the button, you can see the gripping on the button to give it just a little bit of traction. Now, once you press that button in, it releases the lock. And it can swing out. You swing it open and let go of the button. Now, I technically can push the button and reverse flick it. As long as I let go of the button when it opens up all the way. It's actually pretty easy. But I know this isn't the best way for people to open their knife. But it is still possible. You just have to time it correctly. In the open position, it's a very, very solid. No play any direction. It's very nice. Now, the way it works is there's actually a disc in here. Now, the disc, you can see the disc right there. It's hooked up to the liner right there that you see moving in and out. So that disc locks in place into this groove right there. You see that little groove? So when it opens up all the way if I can get this to happen when it opens up all the way that disc 
locks in place. And it's so solid. It's super duper solid. Nice big stop pin in the open and the closed position. But it, once you press the button now, it's on bearings, so it falls down. Now, if you hold that button, it will bounce out. See that? But if you let go, it snaps in. So that winds up becoming very beneficial because you can easily slap it shut and you don't have to worry about it bouncing back out. So when you're using it, when it's in the pocket, you can get it in and out of the pocket so fast into action, make your cut right back into the pocket. Super duper fast. And I know people are going to say, well, I could do that with this one before. Bang, it's open, make your cut, slap it right back shut. I understand that. But this is just a little bit easier, faster, and just a little, I'm not going to say better, but because of the profile and the ergos, which we're going to get into in a second, it winds up becoming super balanced and easy. The, the length of this handle, perfect length for my hand. I love the blade length. It's 3.5 inch blade just under eight inches overall. So it winds up becoming a great EDC size. So the balance and everything for this knife, it's so well balanced, it winds up becoming very versatile. I mean, you just, you feel like you're in so much control with this knife and it makes it fun but also so, so useful. Now, the cutting performance of this knife, it has the same blade stock thickness as the original Elementum. And you can see the size difference right there between the original one and the new one. This one was a great size, but this is a, such a better size in my opinion. Now, the blade stock thickness is the same as the original one. And it's 15 thousandths behind the edge just like the original one. So it's nice and thin behind the edge. So the blade, because of this nice, tall, thin, hollow ground blade, it passes through materials very, very easily. I mean, pushing this through because of the ergos and the straight back design of the handle, you have so much leverage across your palm when pushing this through that it, man, it really works great. The, between the leverage you get and the cutting performance of the blade being a, a nice thin hollow ground blade with a thin blade stock, it works great. I love the way this thing cuts. You have jimping on the spine to help you really lock yourself in. And the the height of the blade or the handle to the blade, you know, like um, in your hand, it's very comfortable and it cuts so good. Now the utility cuts, it does have a nice acute tip, just like the original Elementum, that it's almost like an extension to your finger. You feel like you can easily do very controlled utility cuts. Then you have the handle, which is rounded back here, that fits right in the palm very nicely. It makes it to where you can do great draw cuts with a lot of leverage pointing down. You feel like you have a lot of, or you have, not feel, you, you have a lot of pressure down into your cuts for utility cuts. So the utility cuts are great. So this is such a versatile blade shape. You have a, a small amount of belly for slicing, a nice thin acute tip for your draw cuts or your, your utility cuts, and then you have a great amount of flat for your push cuts. And you can get up nice and tight to the blade because there's not a flipper tab there. And because of the straight back design it has, it makes it where you have, you can put a lot of pressure into your cuts. And the clip, the clip works so good in and out of the pocket. Zero complaints. I mean, I wish it was inset in the micarta, but then they would have had to make a cutout over here on this side for the reverse side. And this is a nice, really good looking side, but it would be a little bit better if it was in set, but it's not that big of a deal. I never have an issue with it in and out of the pocket. The screws are nice and flat. It's easy to get in and out of the pocket. And it's so easy to get out of the pocket into action, making your cuts and then put it back in your pocket. It's very, very um, useful and it just, it works so good. It really does. Now you can see they have a beautiful sharp branch oil and the stop pin 
this stop pin right here winds up hitting right here. So beautiful plunge grind and sharpening choil. You're going to get a lot of life out of this. So much life. I love seeing a sharpening choil like this because the plunge grind is way back here where my nail is. So you have all of this to sharpen. A lot of life. So much life into this. Love that. The profile in the pocket is really nice. You, you, you don't even know you have a knife on. You T8s all the way around. You do have T6s on the clip, but besides that, it's T8s all the way around, which I'm very happy to see. So let's talk about some bad things really quick before we get into sharpening, because I do want to sharpen it up and take you through a couple steps, and we'll see how it's going to sharpen up. So one bad thing is the, the sharpening angle is a little off from one side to the other. So you can see, like, if you look up here, you see how big the bevel is. Now watch when I flip it how small it is. So it is bigger on one side than the other. It's not that big of a deal. And I'll probably be able to even it up when I sharpen it. Um, but other than that, really, the only other thing I could come up with is I kind of do wish that they had another deployment, like a thumb stud or possibly a flipper tab. I mean, it probably still would have been fine with a flipper tab because they did cant the flipper tab before, so it did give you a place to put your finger. So I don't know. I, I do wish there was some type of opening option. And, you know, because I could always use the button, but it wouldn't feel as good as this, though, because it locks when it shuts. It has a very unique feel to it. It's not like a regular button lock like this, where when I shut it, you know, it's not the same how this kind of bounces out like that. This locks in place. So it feels very satisfying the way it works. Um, but other than that, I can't really come up with any bad things. I mean, it does have a nice hidden lanyard back here, a micarta backspacer. The micarta could be a little bit better quality. That's another thing. I do wish it was just a little, little bit better quality. Um, I'm probably going to scuff this up with some sandpaper because that does help uh, make it, uh, you know, a little bit rougher looking. And I kind of like the rougher looking micarta, but that's just me. It's still decent micarta. Um, so I'm not complaining really about that. You know, I just, you know, I like a little bit better quality. But other than that stuff, man, there's really no bad on this. I mean, like I said, I wish there was um, another way to deploy it, but that, that way it would take away from the locking closing position. So, um, which is very innovative. I like to see Civivi doing innovative stuff. The next thing is that the sharpening grind was, or not the grind, the sharpening bevel was off from one side to the other just by a little tiny smidgen before we get into the sharpening and break down the sharpening of this knife i just want to quickly say that aside from this thing being a, a an amazing tool i mean an amazing capable tool it's also an incredible self-defense knife not just because it's so fast in and out of the pocket and into action but because of it being so thin behind the edge and having a really good tip, it's good. It would cu it cuts very deep, or it would cut very deep. But besides that, you have just a really good balance of this knife. You feel like you have so much control over this knife that it just becomes a really well balanced and a uh, very useful self-defense knife if you were going to use it for something like that or if you had to obviously first it's you know it's a tool it's an edc tool but you do have an incredible incredible amount of balance and it's just so quick in and out of the pocket into action and the balance and just the way it feels you always know where your hands are on this thing it feels very controllable and i just wanted to quickly say that so we're going to use my Veneve Diamond Stones. They're infused with diamonds. We're starting with 160 grit slash 100, 160 slash 125 micron. Now, the Civivi Elementum is a very easy blade shape to sharpen because it has a nice flat and a belly up to a cute tip so you have a spot right here you can lay nice and flat on the stone and it's easy to find your angle since we have a beautiful sharpening trail we don't have to worry about hitting hitting anything back here 
you line it up, get your angle. It's very easy to find your angle. Don't worry about it too much. Just try to match it up as close as possible. And as you're going across the stone, lift up. It's that simple. Repeat it over and over until the grip pattern completely covers the entire edge with the entire edge bevel. I'm putting basically the spine of the knife right in the middle of my thumb. That is usually a great angle for me. So far, it's sharpening up really, really good, very fast, and I love 14C28N. This 14C28N feels like it's done extremely, extremely well, very similar to the other 14C28N Civivi I tried, so I'm very, very excited to see how this keeps on going. Now that I've gotten a burr on both sides, I'm ready to flip my stone and go to the next one. going extremely fast and man this thing feels so good on these stones i'm loving the way this thing is sharpening and how good the the steel just feels on the stone you gotta love 14 c 28 on i can't wait to see the finished results anybody just beginning to learn how to sharpen i highly recommend starting out with a civivi the grinds are super even it, they're so easy to sharpen their heat treats are good and they're just they're, they're incredibly benefit anybody who sharpens can really um understand what i'm talking about because you can really appreciate a good grind good grinds thin grinds um even grinds good sharpening choils when you sharpen when you sharpen a knife all those things are make the sharpening so much easier and better for sharpening. And I always enjoy sharpening Civivis. They're always so much easier to sharpen than a lot of other knives. And like I said, you can really appreciate a knife when, when it's easy to sharpen. Moving to the polishing stone, it's going very, very fast, very, very easy. I'm very impressed with the way it's sharpening. And not only just from the steel, the steel's going really good. I'm loving the way the steel's going, but just especially the blade shape, the grind, just everything about it. It just, it makes it so much easier when you have a good sharpening choil, a nice even grind on both sides, and it's nice and thin, and then the blade shape is easy to sharpen. It's another reason why, you know, this was such a good knife, you know, the Elementum. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah, that feels really good going across the stone. I can tell... 
how good this uh, the heat treat is on this steel. It feels really good. Loving this. Still got one more stone to go. Man, the polish is coming out really, really good. Final stone, and let's test it and check it out. Fresh off the stone, no strap. Let's get a closer look at this baby. Oh, it is so sharp. I mean, this thing is ridiculously sharp. Whoo! Ho ho! Ho ho! Ho! Wow. Oops, that was my fault. This thing sharpened up so good, so easily. Another reason why to love Civivis, man. Just the way they sharpen up. They sharpen up so easy. I recommend, I highly recommend anybody getting into sharpening or beginning to sharpen, sharpen Civivis. They're very easy to sharpen. They're grinds. They're, the, the steel is always a good heat treat. But besides that, just how thin the grinds are, how even they are from one side to the other, I, easily matched up that sharpening bevel the the one that was off from one side to the other easily matched it up super easy and they come out so good and the like this blade shape is very easy to sharpen and i love that they do good sharpening choils but yeah it's <laughs> when you have a user knife and it's a knife you're going to use to cut and to work with you want to be able to sharpen it very easily and yeah, I'm very impressed with their 14C28N. Uh, probably more impressed with their 14C28N than any other companies at this point. So very impressed. Um, thank you guys for watching. I highly recommend this knife. Even if you are against it not having a flipper tab or thumb studs, try it out. Try it out. You might be more impressed than you think. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.